So today we leave the float house on the River Quay to travel north to the Mont Bridge in San Claburi district. Our first stop on our almost three hour drive is a temple called Wat Ta Kanun. Almost 400 steps, all the way to the top. On the hill next to the temple, you'll find the Puta Chetia Kiri Pagoda, accessible by a metal staircase. Besides from the magnificent golden Buddha and stupa, the views on top of the hill are definitely worth the climb. Off we go. The next stop is the Krung Krawia waterfall in Kaoleam National Park. Hello! You get the stamp? The little magical book. <laughs> Got it? I got another one! These are not the most spectacular waterfalls, but beautiful enough to make a quick stop. The colors sometimes reminded me a bit of the Erawan waterfalls, and it will only take you half an hour to do the trail next to the falls. After a 150 km drive, we are almost at our destination. This big Buddha near the Mon Bridge was still under construction, but it stands majestically above this beautiful lush green environment.
We already saw this beautiful and special pagoda from close to the Big Buddha and wanted to take a closer look at it. This is not the usual pagoda you would find elsewhere in Thailand. This is a small replica of the Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya in India, the place where the Buddha attained enlightenment. The base is square and the pagoda itself has small niches with little statues in them. We arrived at our hotel Ban Suwan Sombong. It was very conveniently located, less than a 15 minute walk to the Mon Bridge. The room had everything we needed, AC, fridge, a decent bed and a good shower. And then it was finally time to go to the Mon Bridge. For a few baht, these sidecars took us to the bridge. No need to walk today. Also very convenient.
Mamwang? Mamwang? Mamwang ha? Dung? Sim dai na ha? Sim dai na ha? Sim dai na ha? Sim And with our tummies full of delicious food, we thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, take care, and see you in the next one.